everybody. Uh, so welcome to our Kids on Broom Session Zero. We don't even have a name for the show yet. Yeah. 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 Uh, but I'm very excited. Uh, thanks everybody for playing. I, I realize not all of you play RPGs all the time or very often at all. So thanks for joining in for his newbies. And then uh, let's just let's go across. We've got Ryan. We've got Will. Hello. We've got Connie. Hey. We've got Amber. Kenny. And Matt! Hello! <laughs> I can't not scream your name. I, it's like, it's like, Man, I feel like I need to take a drink of water for that scream, too. <laughs> <laughs> I will join you. Right. I missed um, you guys. It's good to see you, man. I missed you, too. Uh, so it's today been is too long. Uh, session zero. So for those of you uh, who aren't familiar, this is, this is basically, this is we're all just going to sit around. We're going to build our world, build our school, build our characters. Uh, so in the system, that's that's part of the rules is is the creation of the world. Uh, so it's not just you jump in; it's not pre-built. The idea is you're all collectively building this narrative together, which I think is great. I love systems that do this, uh, so I'm very excited to play. We've been sitting on this for a little bit too long, I say, uh, and now we're actually gonna we're gonna jump in and do it. <laughs> so, yay! Um, and yeah, before we get too far into that. Um, an unfortunate thing happened last night to one of our friends, Corey Ember, a uh, friend of the channel. Uh, her car was broken into in Oakland last mm. night, and all of her gear was basically stolen out of her car. Laptop, Nintendo Switch, a lot of electronics. Um, so I set up a GoFundMe to help her out as much as we can, um, and just letting you guys know that that's a thing. If you are able to do anything for us or for, for her, um, much appreciated, but obviously um, all the love and support you guys have for us already is um already heartwarming so thank you guys so much oh man yeah yeah that's a bummer that's what she gets for telling us that she was going to san francisco and then she went to oakland <laughs> <laughs> different different Chinese place ask around oh yeah. Corey's in the chat hi Corey. hey Corey. Hey. hey oh look everybody's in the chat <laughs> yeah oakland Oakland's is not actually safe. getting it's getting better, getting better. Yeah, yeah oakland's not that bad ah. i mean <laughs> Despite the epidemic. <laughs> um, anywho, uh, let's just jump in, shall we? Uh, so let me let me pop up and see what we're gonna do first. Uh, so uh, normally we're, uh, there, you would start with a setting boundaries thing. We're gonna do that off stream for the sake of everybody's comfort. Uh, so we're gonna skip ahead to. Uh, world building, which is very exciting. Uh, and so we're just gonna, so this is all collaborative. If you have ideas, spin them out there and we can all, you know, agree, disagree, discuss, what have you. Uh, but the first, the very first thing we get to decide is what is the name of our wizarding school? That's rude to be the first thing. <laughs> we can hold it off till last in this segment if you like. We can come. You don't even know yeah. what school is about. <laughs> we haven't even built the history yet. Right. All right. All right. We'll save that for last. Okay. We'll save it could name be like it Shady last. High or something. That's also how I build characters and lots of. I kind of like Shady High. Me too. <laughs> like Shady High. We'll put it in there as a as a. Hey, Grandidious. Grand Dudius, hey! Uh, we are, uh, uh, Grand Dudius is, is like the nicest streamer ever. So if you want to follow Grand Dudius, he's the best. Um, and yeah, so uh, Grand Dudius, you've walked into, we are playing Kids on Brooms, which is, uh, this is our session zero. We're building building the world out so that for the next four weeks, we'll have a game to play. Very exciting. Uh, Tigran says, I'm so used to having Danny in the middle when he DMs. Well, things change, man. <laughs> oh. Uh, all right, so we got Shady High with a bunch of asterisks next, next to it for now. Mm. Uh, so where is our school located? Mm. Um, Should it uh, be in the United States? Nope. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, I was going to yeah. ask the broader question, like, is it on Earth or are we like... Ooh, it's it's a ooh. Hall of Justice ooh. in space. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> it could be like pig farts and on Mars. Like, I mean, for those of you that get that reference. I don't. <laughs> what if it was somewhere? What if it was somewhere? That's a deep reference. What if it's somewhere like like cold, like Alaska or, or like the North Pole or something? Like Canada. Like, or, or yeah, maybe it Canada. <laughs> it all the North like all a Canada. School of Solitude. Oh. Sure. Okay, so somewhere somewhere cold, Alaska, Canada, North Pole. Uh, mm -hmm. The School of Solitude. <laughs> I swear, if, it, if, if that's the name, I'm going to be so mad. That's out if that's the name. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> that's Every really class nice, is though. just yourself and a book. Yeah, Ooh. exactly. Oh. The School of Introverts. It's just so nice. I just glass or like ice mirrors. <laughs> 
Grand Dudius suggests uh, London for no particular reason, of course. I feel like that's taken. I feel like... <laughs> no. Um, the, the school you're alluding to is in Scotland, thank you. That's a good point. Yeah. So, Scotland. It could be, it could be somewhere in London, like hidden. Hmm. Ooh. I do love London. It's my absolute favorite city. I love London as well. So I would definitely favorite. be. Uh, oh, what if it's like, what if it's hidden, like, so there, hear me out, hear me out. There's like Stonehenge, okay? And yeah, like, to okay. no one, like to the regular eye, it just looks like some stones, but like when you go through like the uh, the arch stone, it like transports you on that hill is actually like a big old school. I like it. Very like it. outlander of you. Is that a little outlander? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I have a stupid story about that. So me and Art were at the like, the thing in Fortnite where you like just play around and nobody can kill you. And there's like these stones and he was like, who am I? And he ran up to a stone and was like, ah, oh, where's my husband? And I was like, I, I don't know. And he was like, I'm that show you watch. And that was that was his joke. It was horrible. <laughs> I was like, no, no, that was an outlander joke, but okay, it was bad. Sorry, I was typing locations, Matt, when you said that. So you're saying it's like, a, you're, you'd be like hopping through time like outlander or it's, uh... Oh, it's like, it's just like, there's like a, a invisible veil, kind of like in X-Men right now, where like only mutants can walk through the veil. Only people with like magical power in their blood can walk through like this veil. Mm. Uh, I don't know, just made it up. <laughs> yeah, we can make the, maybe the entrance to it can be through all the seven wonders of the world. Like if you're in a Bermuda Triangle, or if you go to a exact specific, or walk into a specific pyramid or something, stand in front of them. Oh. Sphinx, That's like the then, different teleportation yeah, spots so throughout the world. Kind of. yeah. So anyone, depending on where you are in the world, you can come to it by one, by way of these magical, you know, right. locations. I, I changed my mind. We're all wizards on a pirate ship in the Caribbean, and <laughs> <Yes>. we're... <laughs> <laughs> I like it! Come back next week for <laughs> session 0. 0.5. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, all right, so I feel like we've got fun ideas of how to get to this school, but we still don't know where this school is. Mm. Oh, that's a good point. It's in our hearts. Uh, I, I kind of like the idea of like Alaska because it's like it's sparse and barren yeah. and there's not going to be a lot of stuff around if, if things go either loudly or south very quickly. Um, but that's yeah. just my two cents. I'd like, like you guys to reach a consensus. It's barren, no one would go there. Yeah, nobody would like accidentally stumble across it because you'd have to like, yeah, you know, make a trek oh. to it. And what's happening there could be causing the ice shelf to collapse, or causing the while the world thinks it's global warming, really it's it's what's going on <laughs> at the school, or somehow it's affecting. Ice. <laughs> and maybe the aurora, the aurora bo borealis. I think I said that right. Like the, <gasps> aurora. The, the, yeah. Yeah. the aurora. It's like that's actually like related to like ooh, it's the dust in the pool or some Excellent. shit. Like I don't oh, know. Like, oh. That's why there's a school there because it's actually like the central hub, and that's like the source of magic. Actually, oh. I love it. Michi wants a moon base. Uh, the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Hardliner says Greenland. So, all right. Ooh, so Greenland. I, I like that uh, Aurora Borealis thing. That's super cool. Did I say that right? Is that what that is? What Aurora Borealis. Or yeah. if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, Aurora Australis. Mm. I'm smart. Oh. No, I'm not. Or if you're a princess, Aurora. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in uh, France. <laughs> uh, we've got, all right. So, Alaska? Did we decide Alaska? I'm down. No, no, down? Alaska. Alaska. Does anyone hate it? Don't I mean, not hate it, but the 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 further mm -hmm. away from. <laughs> oh my god, I'm with Connie. <laughs> yeah, somewhere not United States related. <laughs> yeah, so is it Greenland that's more ice based? Because that's kind of closer towards the. Yes, Greenland is icier than Iceland. You that know how I know that? From Atlantic. Mighty Ducks. Oh, I was going to oh. say Mighty Ducks. <laughs> it's like Milo, Milo Thatch, who is sitting right next to us wherever you're sitting, uh, Danny. Um, <laughs> he's, like, he's like, oh, well, they thought it was Iceland, but it's actually Greenland. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. So now I will forever know that because of I know it. Ducks. I know it from the rhyme in, what is it, Mighty Ducks 2, where they fight, where they where they battle the Icelandic team. And then the girl like starts dating bom whatever, like Coach Bombay. And she's and he's mm. like, I thought Iceland was full of ice. And she's like, no, Greenland's covered in ice and Iceland is very nice. So that's oh, I always remember. There's a rhyme. There's a rhyme. There's a mighty duck. <laughs> uh, all right, so Greenland. And 
So we can still keep the Aurora Borealis, if that yeah. is true, correct, because they're north <laughs> enough. Mm -hmm. um, I like the, the entrance points being the seven wonders of the world. Like, you can't get there by foot. You <laughs> have to go somewhere else to get there. I think that's kind of cool. So I think we can keep all that. Um, nice. That's and dope. so we can we now that we have a place and we kind of have how to get there. How does this uh, impact the interaction of the school as well as the world outside the school? Um, I mean, Greenland is populated. They'll be able to find other towns and stuff to get to. I, I um, part of me thinks because there are entrances around the world, it's a pretty diverse campus. So like you can have people from literally everywhere, you know, America, Japan, Canada, uh, China, whatever, like. Like mm -hmm. India, like it, it, I think it could be like a, it's it is like the most like diverse school because it's like the central hub if if yeah. if everything connects to it, I think. Yeah, no, I like that. I like that. Ah, uh, cool. I think that's good for that. Uh, the the head of our school is named Huat, and he is best known for Huat. Well, that's weird that he's named after the thing he's best known for. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hawat. Hawat. <laughs> His name is Hawat. <laughs> name is Hawat. Super Hawat. Dune. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Everyone should be reading Dune. I'm just saying. Still on chapter 10. Same. Um, All right, so who, who's maybe our we, Maybe we can think about like what he's known for, and then we can base the name off of... I mean, in, it, it doesn't literally have to... But maybe that'll help us think of a name. Yeah, totally. Kind of like the school. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think he'd be known for like, like, because if he's, is he a founder of the school or just the headmaster? That's a good question. Cool. Uh, he's the head of the school. We haven't decided how old this school is yet. We can get to more of those defining features down the line. So we'll, we'll assume he's the current headmaster or principal or however it's going to be arranged. I feel like since it's such a diverse school, like he'd obviously be willing to teach anyone, because if you're going to be the head, like the head of a school with multiple points of entry, with that has that is known for like diversity and stuff like that, then you'd have to be quite wanting to perpetuate that. Mm -hmm. oh, unless he's and maybe he's like he like helps. Uh, oh. Yeah, unless he's evil. Uh, <laughs> no, but he's evil. maybe he uh, maybe the headmaster he's known also known because of that for like the preservation of like ancient cultures that may have gone in the, you know, to the non-magical world may have, are getting in sync to that public eye, but his goal is to make it, to preserve it in the ma the wizarding world or the magical world. Like he's pr also a preserver of like ancient, ancient magical cultures. Yeah, sort of and like yeah. relics and stuff. I like that. Do each of those places, like the entrances Ooh. hold magic? Thank you, thank you for the gift. Hey, Grace here, thank Ooh. you very much. Thanks for gifting those subs. Nice. Oh, I got a sub. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a sub. Wow. <laughs> you guys want sub? What? No. Well, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are now. Well, it's fun, so you have to keep redoing it. Um, did you get? Uh, did you hear my question, Danny? I didn't. Sorry. Okay. Um, so are each of the like, if we're using the like seven wonders of the world, or like whichever wonders we choose. Uh, are those magical or are those just places that the portals have been placed? Like, or are they deemed a magical like hub? And that's why they are a portal. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I think they can go either way. I think people are leaning toward magical. It could also be like, because they're seven wonders, because they attract so much attention of the human species, maybe that's what's caused them to become magical or because there are these ancient crafted mm -hmm. things that uh, maybe when they were first built, they were also imbued with magic. It, it can really be kind of however you like it, whatever feels best. How old is, is the school? It's up to you. Damn it, Danny, we keep asking you questions. Just answer it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Maybe uh, because it's like the school, you know, it's 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 a hub for the seven wonders. Maybe it's been around for a long time. Yeah. As these wonders have been built, they like added the portal. Maybe it's been around. I don't know, what's the, I mean, look, Google Google's search that, the Stonehenge. oldest. What is the oldest? Yeah, yeah right? so that's it's been question. there for like almost like millennia or something. Yeah, I think that's yeah. sick. I think the seven wonders of the world as we know them are actually the seven ancient wonders. The like the Pyramid of Giza is the like, oldest of the ancient wonders. Uh, like are the gardens of Babylon? Those aren't even there anymore. Yeah. That stuff. So I guess but, it would have to be an ancient school. So first century BC. 
that's that's pretty cool i really yeah. like that just all the paintings of, of the, there's like so many paintings like this headmaster this this teacher that's why <laughs> they have so many minus hallways 100. yeah exactly <laughs> that's great awesome. i love awesome. that yeah this is I, okay so yeah. it's super ancient built uh, in the one bc <laughs> no 100 bc 1000 bc when was the pyramids oh 100 bc so, or can, 200 to 100 BC. It's not uh, certain. Can but, the headmaster also kind of also be like, he's also known for heading like a council of, of, of like wizards who, who like reach out and help people who are firstborn wizards mm. or firstborn magic users. So like he kind of established like, uh, I don't know what you call, I'm blanking on the Name, like a like, big brother program or something <laughs> the something order of like, the white wizards yeah some, or some, or, geez no, no. <laughs> <laughs> i was thinking like beard and stuff but no no, 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 no like, but like these people like reach out to like people who are just who are who, their family aren't magical but they are now magical and like help them kind of like a professor x thing i guess like he maybe yeah, okay he like is a founder of like a program that helps First like he started a team that like an outreach team or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. So that's I, kind I, of I, I, the, the students for the school. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He, he's got like a dome with a giant like <laughs> with a thing <laughs> called Cerebro, and he's like, Ooh, <laughs> dream. Oh. <laughs> Every got another one. <laughs> no, I think that's cool. Oh, the word I guess it's ambassador. Yeah, I'm okay. like an ambassador's program. Thank you. That's that's a good word oh. for that. What, what's the age range of the school? What are we? Is this like high school? Is it post high school? Um, or? So the the different. Give me two seconds. Let me scroll up. So you'll have there are three different classes of characters that you can do. So you can do underclass, which is going to be ages fourteen and under. Uh, upper class, which is like fifteen to twenty. Um, so it's like think like middle school through high school, like college prep, and those can be our age ranges. It can be a very large school that can accommodate all of those. Or if you choose to play just in the younger arena or just in the older arena, we can we can do that too. Uh, you can also be faculty. But uh, for this, I would say like I, it could probably accommodate all ages because if you're learning something that you can't learn anywhere else, they might as well do yeah. all the age groups. Yeah, and even the teachers like you're the teachers are like learning from each other too. So like that's that's like a when we get to that, like the teachers are able to learn from another teacher and they'll be help a nice them out school too. or something for all the parents <laughs> of kids. Or... Uh, all right. Well, do we have a name for him? Uh, we don't have a name for him or her or her or them or, or they. Them. We can determine that right now. What, what should their name be? Are they a human? Doesn't have to be. Are they like a that's, centaur or something? I know that's he could be a, could be a sentient right. polar bear. The the coat of arms <gasps> really is a polar bear. We yep. are introducing oh, animals. Yep. Let's and can do we this. can we say that like it's a it's a polar bear, but like there's no I don't think it has a gender. I think it's just like this is just who it is. You know, this is just polar. yeah. The headmaster, polar. headmaster, yeah. Headmaster Poe. <gasps> po. Very po. sweet. <laughs> Well, <laughs> do we like this? All right, I'm doing it. <laughs> so it's I think that's color. great. Master Poe. I'm gonna say his last name is Larbear. Mm. Yes. Lar yes. Nice. Dumb. I just got that. <laughs> <laughs> Same. I was like, why is that? Oh. <laughs> So, all right, here's what I have for the headmaster. The head of our school is named Headmaster Poe Larbear. He, he is best known for teaching anyone for the preservation of ancient magical cultures and relics. He is known for heading a council of wizards who do firstborn wizard outreach ambassador programs. And he is a polar bear. Can the ambassadors all be animals too? Like little birds and stuff? They're like, how cute. I, sure. I mean, that would be the one? easiest way for them, I think, to pass unnoticed. Why not? <laughs> They're all little birds. They're all different species, though, so they blend in with the with the with the fauna of the area they go to. It's very wild. Also, poor, poor headmaster Poe, because if he has to go to like the pyramids in Egypt, that's hot. Be hot. He's gonna shed. Hot. Maybe he has his own like personal flurry, like Olaf. <laughs> yeah. Or he can recruit like camels. Have camels. You know, they could be camel teachers. Are or... we just all gonna be animals now? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to be, but why not? 
this is, this is why you build it from scratch because this should happen. Could you imagine if I came in with an idea? We would never gotten here. <laughs> I mean, uh, like, this also offers that op opportunity of, like, having felted friend uh, uh, school attendees as well, so. Yeah, they are a species, if you like. They are a species. Yeah. So it also changes the purpose of the, if all the teachers are animals, you would think they'd want something that has to do with the natural earth or building Ooh, balance. Are they like avatar having... spirits of the Somehow. wild? I don't know. I mean, like, they... they <laughs> Like they, they're against industrialization or they're against, you know, mm. the, maybe they want to return more to, I don't know, balance. Uh, yeah. 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 Like, we, more about the the racial ghoul. Let's do this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> should we have magical creatures also? Or should there be dragons or maybe animals that no one really knows about? Yeah, like I, I'm sure they, they'll exist in this world, but maybe not as staff. Ooh, uh, I like, I like Mitchie's thought of like what if they're humans who reach their highest power like what if they're like druidy kind of like mm. that's their druid circle and they just eh, we're bears like now and omegas <laughs> who just in who just prefer to be polar bears yeah yeah that's mm. awesome i like that yeah oh so they they were people mm. wait all the teachers Oh, some or just him. Just some or some. Yeah. Just some. Some. Just, it's just like once you reach Brooklyn. once you reach that highest level of power then you become your kind of Familiar. familiar. Okay. Familiar. It just kind of sounded like. That's cool because you'll all start with familiars. So yeah. then, like, when yeah. you get to your highest form, you'll bond with them and you'll become one. Oh my god, that's, Megazord of familiars. Awesome. We're keeping that. Yeah. Just like, that, like, all the teachers were animals now. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe some of them haven't done it yet. Maybe there's still yeah. some teachers who have to, like, earn their stripes or whatever. Literally, because they might be a zebra. Uh, <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> zebra for our <laughs> for grand duty. Um, awesome. Familiar. All right. Well, we'll move on from headmaster. Yeah. I guess. All right. All right. So our favorite, uh, one of our favorite magical pastimes is a combination. Is a magical combination of blank and blank. So I would say the the standout. Uh, uh, allegory here would be Quidditch, right? So, like, what would be like our major pastime in this Greenland-based magical school, full of a lot of teachers and possibly students who may or may not be animals? I would want. I would imagine some kind of a game that involves like your coordination with your familiar. So tag. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> familiar tag. <laughs> It's a giant hedge maze with cheese at the end. <laughs> oh no. I kind of like that. Maybe it's like a variation on like capture the flag with mm. like, it's like, or something, or like, I don't know. Cause, I mean, it's like two teams of three with their familiar. So like, mm. si you know, and like, so there's like yeah. 12 people, uh, you know, six people, six oh. familiars. And so like, they're animals. Yeah. So it'd be sky, land, or underground. Even in water, possibly. So it could be. Literally... I was thinking like pro bending too. So yeah. like that's where I. Yeah. That's where I was so you, 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 your animal may need to go underground to chase the snake or something or something to get the tag. I don't know, whatever. The flag. Yeah. Okay, so capture the flag with familiars. Two teams of three. It's Very super cool. fun. And maybe there is a maybe there's like a major leagues where it's all bonded. Uh, bonded wizards who have who have like they've ascended, so they are their full animal form. So it's like they are both things at once. So that's like that's the pro league. That's the pro Ooh, league. Junior league. Yeah. So it's like practicing alongside. Yes. So you would need at least one from each category of animal. We'll say. Or on a so whether it's land. <laughs> Beard yeah, Beard like on a what water air or something. Uh, point. Yeah. Uh, a cooking contest. Who has the tastiest familiar? <laughs> oh no! What no? No! no. <laughs> I like Corey's idea though. Corey says capture the flag, but the familiars have a goal and the humans have a different goal. Ooh! Yeah, that's sick. Ooh. That's like really that sick. That's really, I like that's, that. that's really really cool. I want to like play that game now. Right? That's really cool. <laughs> and each time, like the you know like oh man, like the field could be so cool, man. Like. Like every time it's a different like landscape yes. that like you're able to people like you know the professors yeah. like the referees cast to like be, mm -hmm. I don't know be so cool. it would accommodate the players every time I yeah think. Mm -hmm. it would also be cool it'd be a, a different magical setup each time and maybe there are like, like standards below that but as yeah. far as the physical 
first I like Ooh, this and then goddess. like the championship could just be like a tier system of they have to go through all the different elements to prove that they are like the champion hmm yeah. Ooh, ooh. But in order for either side to accomplish their goal, they need that familiar connection. So it's like, even though maybe it's the animal's job to go and get this bell, the human needs the animal's eyes in order to see like their goal. Yes. So they're constantly oh. splitting focus. They, they each have separate objectives mm -hmm. uh, that require uh, their communication between each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, so what's this gonna be called? Hmm. What is it? Like, <laughs> there have been a lot of ideas thrown out, but then, like, uh, I don't know what the actual uh, thing uh, is. Frockus. It's like a frockus, you know? <laughs> like a fucking raucous? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. The frockus? Raised the yeah. frockus. Uh, yeah. Uh, frockus. That That's sounds perfect. like a Greenland like word. Yes. <laughs> Just Greenland. <laughs> All right, so Fracas is the name. Uh, I can I can I can whittle around and come up with rules and stuff later. I think we've got plenty of ideas, ideas rather. <laughs> no, just ideas. Arsenal is always like, all right, what if? And hear me out. The familiars were stored in small red and white balls until called forth. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we've got we've got our sport. Uh, let's see, and, okay, we'll move on to the next line. Uh, a notable landmark in the school is blank. And we can do this uh, a minimum of two times, but if you guys have ideas of what some uh, some landmarks or maybe monuments or something like that, even if it's, you know, a terrain-based thing, maybe a statue, uh, something historical that, hmm. uh, that people would travel to the school in order to see. There should be probably a, like a monument or a statue to the founders of the school. Yeah. Which if yeah. we have seven entrances, I'm assuming that the founders, there was one at each area of the world that yeah. the were at mm -hmm. came together in the ice shelf of Greenland to create this magical school. That's mm -hmm. dope. Welcome. Okay. Sometimes well, I if, if, if the founders are all seven of them, that means we've got we've to age down the school a little bit because it would only be as old as the seventh founder. That makes sense. Oh. That's Mr. still pretty Addis, old though. Right? Addis, Addis, yeah. It could be super old. They're all dead. Right? But, well, because initially we were aging the school as old as the very first of the seven wonders. So only that one existed at that time. So if all well, seven of the them were in school together. Right. That's what I'm saying. So it's just, it would be, we're just flipping the year. Hmm. What year is it? Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, Google. Uh, <laughs> oh, actually, I might have activated it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is the youngest of the seven wonders. Mm. Mm. Let's ah. find out. Most recent, maybe, instead yeah. of the least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oldest made sense. Most recent. Um, I, I, Great Wall uh, of China? I think. Ancient wonders or regular wonders? Oh, ancient wonders, ancient wonders. Google searching is the most in, like interesting of live stream topics. <laughs> well, I found a picture with a timeline. Yoink! You're going wow. to notes. Yes. <laughs> all right. All right. Instead of having seven founders, what if we had like a, a council that formed the the final iteration of the school? So maybe one per person that found the first version of the school, and then throughout that first you know, millennia, whatever. It kept being formed until the last person was remembered. I'm sorry, joined. So the last- Sure, so it's like the final expansion was the, that, was mm. the seventh founder. I like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. I think that keeps it Maybe simple. Maybe they could be looking for one more expansion. Maybe that could be the- hmm. uh, Oh, that's cool. I could be looking for fun. the eighth world wonder. Ooh, yeah, Whoa! exactly. You guys! That could be his big um, goal. I definitely think on the campus, um, probably on the north side of campus, there is a uh, like a terminal station with the different portals <laughs> right. that has like above the, each portal is like a clock with the time zone that like is mm. that like yes. you know I like that Love like it. a train ooh, station ooh. but it's like different portals and mm -hmm. and on the ground we have the um the orb from treasure planet where you can like push little different like locations on the map and it'll Did anybody watch treasure planet yes mm -hmm. underrated it's okay. super underrated 
I, that's how I got to Goo Goo Dolls. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know the song, yeah. 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 Well, that's a that's technically a solo song though. He wasn't Goo Goo Dolls in that song, right? But it led <laughs> yeah. me to Goo Goo Dolls, you know. Yeah. Okay, so we have monuments to all seven of the uh, the original founders, portal mm-hmm. to each place with a time clock for each place, sort of in a, in a central area, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, North side and, of campus. And then we have this orb map. And what is this a map of? Is this like strictly wizarding stuff map? Is this just a map of the world? What are we looking at here? I don't know what it is, so. It could be like a, a wizarding, like radar Doppler type thing yes. where there's like heavy <laughs> magical activity happening outside oh, of the like. school. Yeah. And it's like kind of like thermal reading. So like the really like heavy areas are like red oh, and then you get like man. little blips. That is yeah. cool. Instead of the Aurora Borealis being a good thing that's happening from the school, that's like a threat. It's like the equivalent mm, of like a solar yes. storm for magic. And maybe it's like, they got to like shut, like lock shit down. So like it doesn't ruin whatever they're doing. Or oh, that's, magic. Cool. that's why they need so the, the color cool. like changes like with the kind yeah. of threat level or something. Yes. So the eighth wonder will wow. keep magic from ending or keep the whole whole it's system like the fucking sanctums dude <laughs> <laughs> you know? that's sick and that, and that could be how they also determine what the where the eighth wonder will be right because it'll they'll be looking Ooh, at pockets they'll be, the they'll be looking for hot spots yeah. Yeah. yeah which is where they how they found the last ones gene gene i found another <laughs> <laughs> why are all these things like gene <laughs> <laughs> His assistant's always named Jean, <laughs> like Julie. Zach, that's a that's a requirement to come to the school. You must be named Jean. If you are not named Jean and you're going to have magical powers, we will change your name to Jean. Yeah. It's like the title you get when you graduate. Yeah, Jean. You'll become Jean. <laughs> Great wizard. I think there should be a, a like a I'll say on like a, on the far east side of campus, kind of like on the outskirts. It's a, it's like a giant. It looks like a coliseum, but it's like the stadium for the for fracas it's like a huge uh-huh. stadium it's got and it's like ancient looking with like a bunch of like it looks it's it's a, it's a coliseum looking thing i yeah. think what if what if it's um, the first one it was invented here yeah and what if oh, like it'd it be cool if it one. was like kind of themed like the coliseum because that's the time when that game was actually created was yeah. in the like roman empire of the coliseum and so they actually took that idea from fracas into the mortal world and that's why we have the great coliseum mm-hmm. of rome mm-hmm. so, uh, mm-hmm. is there more than one school or oh, more yeah. than one there's... so what if, we have like, to have rivals now yeah there you go exactly ah. mm-hmm. so yeah. maybe it could be something like like the hunger games where everyone from each school watches it somehow or they're virtually in the place where they are, you know, in other words, they don't all have to be in the physical location. They could be so watching like, it on there. Like a Jedi Council meeting. <laughs> like a... mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> all right, all right. I like that. So uh, virtual spectating? Or how, how does this look physically? Coliseum. <laughs> well, the, oh, sorry, that's part of the Coliseum. <laughs> got it, got it. Okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. What about the idea of having different, we're talking about the game still, right? Having different locations or different types of environments that that we're playing in based on whatever year or season the game is happening. In other words, it changes. I thought that that, uh, the teachers just like came up with different terrains and stuff. They just just, magic it. Accommodate the the familiars, I think. Kind of like, I mean, to equate it, kind of like the the dragon age or dragon egg challenge. Mm-hmm. Although to that oh, yeah, point yeah. though, Kenny, that could be interesting too, is like uh, a season of like the sport could literally change with the season. So you have like a winter game, a summer game, whatever, the terrain would stay the same, but maybe the temperatures and iciness and all that stuff would change with the season. Hmm. Okay. So that way it's like you haven't finished your, your game season until you've played it in all four things of weather. Hmm. Thank you, Barking Dara, for the host. Hey, thank you. Woo-woo. All right, let's see, changes with seasons. Got it, got it. All right, are we good for for landmarks? Is there like, let's see, like, I don't know, nearby spooky forest? Is there like a big lake or a river? I mean, we're pretty close to the ocean. It's an island, so maybe there's like a bay or a cave or something. I feel like there has to be a glacier, at least one. Ah! Because we're in Greenland. Yeah, so. Ice caves are good too. Yeah. Ooh, I picture, okay. Bear with me, because I'm going to describe it like this. 
Um, I feel like there should be like like a glacier that like comes down and then like in it there's like caves like under because a glacier is a river of ice for those of you who have not seen frozen too um but you know you have a glacier and then like maybe under it is like caves yeah like, I don't oh know. yeah glacier that like are like magical sure. i like that yeah Thanks. i like that a lot <laughs> what if um will speaks <laughs> <laughs> what if every now and then something some object appears in in the ice in the caves, um, and over time of uh, studying these objects, we figure out that, or you know, in the history of the school, they figured out that those items are the items that have been lost in the Bermuda Triangle. <gasps> and they somehow appeared I there. I like it. Now I like to explain the caves, them like boring in there to get it. So they're always going in there to yeah. collect because the school does focus on retrieving artifacts. So it's like they'd be getting stuff from all different kinds of times as they fall through. Ah, nice. you guys! Mm -hmm. oh. Nice. Uh, and go! Y'all. I'm so excited. <laughs> all right. And that, I feel like that should just be common knowledge of like, they're like the finding caves or something mm -hmm. like that. Where like, mm -hmm. if you like, like it, it's like yeah. a kind of a, a rite of passage for like the younger oh, ones to go nice. in there to find something. And like everybody takes like, takes like a little thing, like a thimble or like a pot or, you know, some like weird it's, things. It's like, uh... like the older kids are like, you have to go to the finding caves. Like, or yeah. you're not really it's a like, wizard. It's like getting a kyber crystal. But more, more hazing. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Sweet. All right, I think we're good for landmarks, <laughs> unless there's one final idea. But let's we can push past. Uh, here's one. Here's one of the most unconventional classes we have at the school is blank, and we can also create multiples of these if we like. Something that would make our wizarding school specific or you know, special, what makes us stand out? Well, I mean, for one, like we already have most of the headmasters as druidish, kind of able to change into animaguses like as a thing. So like either like becoming one with your spirit animal or or like achieving a higher like, sense of, yeah, I don't know. It's like, well, yeah, no, like uh, like familiar husbandry could be yeah. a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Would that be unconventional though? Like that seems like it'd be everyone would want to well, be one. Other schools, though, I think might not have the same sort of like dedication to yeah. their familiars. Other people are just like, yeah, I just use them to channel my magic, and we just hang out, and then I give them some kibbles and bits. Whereas opposed to, it's like at this school, it's like we will become each other, and we're gonna focus on this specific magic thing. Ooh, nice. Uh, Stand to their eyes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nether Yam, thanks for the follow. And Banner 4K, thank you for the follow. Oh, sorry, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub, Nether Yam. Been leaning on my elbow too long. Now it hurts. Don't know how to heal. All right, any other weird classes that we might have? Mm. It will have very familiar things to like the standards of other wizarding worlds. So think outside the box for these if we can. And we don't need a lot. Like if this is the one, that's cool too. But A time capsule magic? How to freeze things for a long time to keep them safe? It could be like a plot point. Maybe someone a long time ago throw something that's important. Mm. And... Could be like a manipulation of like time, kind of where you could learn how to like pause it for a few seconds or something, or how to like just quickly rewind it. Like- um... Save by the bell magic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so like hmm. localized time magic would be mm. called that the class. I feel uh, it should be a class like an Indiana Jones kind of class, but like magical. So like magical anthro magical mm. archaeology. Ar archaeology. Archaeology. But like magical. Like mm. so ways to find things with magic mm. as opposed mm. to him just like throwing his whip and going, I here I go. <laughs> You know, it's like what? you like you can you it teaches you how to like hone in your senses of like magic feeling like, mm. you know, artifact you know, dowsing. Feeling. Yeah, <laughs> like artifact <laughs> dowsing. The like finer that. points of Accio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I will also encourage all of you to make up the names for your spells as we mm. continue through these games throughout all the okay. sessions. Um, cool. So we've got familiar husbandry, localized time magic and artifact dowsing. I think that's those are solid. good. Unless we got anything else. All right, well, hooray, we've got school details, except for 
the name. We don't know the name. We Ooh. we started with Shady High and School of Solitude. <laughs> which, <laughs> I'm glad we went the other direction. Good call on yeah, that. Neither of those really fit anymore. Yeah. Hmm. What about like something with the word like sept in it, like as a seven sept? Like I don't know. Yeah. Also, I watched Stardust the other day. Mm. <laughs> Septimus. <laughs> I love that movie, Zombie Fight. I had never seen it. And he was like, I hate this movie. And I was like, have you watched it? And he's like, no, I just don't like it. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm watching it. And then he looks again, <laughs> as he does. He usually sees oh, it the set school. I like that movie. It's just seven school. <laughs> oh. No. How do you say wonders in freaking like Latin. Latin? Oh, I like where you're going. I like where your head's at. <laughs> um, I'm gonna look it up right now. <laughs> yeah. Be cool if it was like Septalica or something. Or Miliantibus. What? That's too big. Found two different things. In Danish, it's uh, Vidundre. Wait, what do they speak in Greenland? Yeah. Do they ah. speak a language in Greenland? Greenland. Yeah, that's why I've been looking I'm up sure Danish. Is. Oh, is it Danish? Yeah. Okay. Wasn't sure. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, you're so, from Greenland. What is, what's Ooh. one word? Also, they also have Greenlandic. Sorry. Oh. Like, let's look up Greenlandic. In Dennis, it's I, I also like Beard on a Batman's uh, clue in there. Was the seventh Wonder is uh, the Lighthouse of Alexandria, so the Alexandria Academy. It's but that'd cool. be the seventh Wonder, and we it, the school is already built on the first Wonder, wasn't it? But maybe the school gets renamed with each Wonder it finds, like it's an upgrade. <laughs> oh, and oh, that's why they're on the search the eighth for the eighth. that we're looking for. It'll get renamed again. It'd be cool if each. If each wing, because you guys have said that like, it's it starts small and then gets upgraded, like each wing is named after a wonder. That's cool. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's cool. I like that actually. Mm. Mm. Ooh, it could be like spread out like a star, so it's like each wing is like a point on on the star. So then that way it can just keep accommodating for each new wing being added on. Mm. There's your map, Danny. <laughs> oh, and, and so it's like seven spokes, and we haven't found the eighth yet, which would be the center, which is just the a center. courtyard right yes. now. Yeah, and it could be like a centralized tree or something. Bring it in! I feel I feel like it can't be like a perfect circle, like with all like the things. I feel like there has to be like a gap, and mm. then all the star spokes are around the gap because the gap would be like the entrance of like mm. we go instead of like I gotta squeeze through these walls here. I don't know. That's just what I see in my brain. Hmm. I did not describe that well, so you're welcome. Good luck. All right. So <laughs> let let me hear this again. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have so each section of the school from one of the founders separated. It's all they're all spoked together. The center is the piece that is missing, and instead of there actually being something there, there is nothing there because it needs to be filled. It needs to be found and placed. I thought it was we were just finding different points of the little star or sunburst, if you will. I, I don't know if it's like empty. Because I feel like they, they have it oh, filled yeah. with like a park or something. Okay. Yeah, so, it'd yeah. be like a common area or something. Oh. Yeah. Unless the common area is a metaphor for unity. I don't know. Like, oh. <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> Could the name that's where all the points with... meet. Or, the eighth or wonder is maybe? us. <laughs> oh, no, I, that's a very oh, sweet. That's a bad I thing, like that. Mind. It could also be very kind of like Howl's Moving Castle-y, where it's just, it just forces room. So the entire mm. school could just like, -ka -ka boom, like make room for nice. a, the next wedge in the school so that they could, in the future, still find a ninth, 10th, 11th, or what have you. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. But like I feel color. like the, the entrance always needs to stay the same. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. We need an epic entrance mm -hmm. this school with some fucking statues. <laughs> <laughs> So is the Library of Alexandria the most recent yes. ancient one? Yes, but I think we, we flipped it because we're still going to have it be built right. around the time of the pyramids and then right. each wing has been added over time. Um, so each time a new area is founded, <gasps> they, they choose someone from that place to be. Uh, I wonder if there's like symbols for each new wonder, like the pyramid is one because it has like the mm. one point. Whoa. And mm. all the Alexandria has pillars. So maybe there's like s seven pillars in the like those hidden numbers within each wonder, so to speak. Oh. Uh, kind of, that can yeah, even so be that's like, like coat of arms would combine all of those symbols. Like there'd be visual for that. All right. I got so it. like the idea of trying to, these points holding up magic, so to speak. And Borealis is like the ceiling kind of falling down or the, you know, the it ending. So we need, we need the eighth pillar 
to keep it up. To keep it standing. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep the wolf in D. <laughs> Does each location have its own ward or its own? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, think. Yeah. I feel like the schools, like the different portions, might just be where classes themselves are held. Oh, because I, uh, nice. I still feel like. If we're doing houses, I think those should be closer to a common area than so mm. spread out. Like, I, I would like you all as characters to be able to get closer to each other. Are we doing houses? Do we want houses? Or is it just we're all students in the same school? Well, I mean, houses could be, you'd be like, you know, like a portal to that place. So walking into a pyramid could be opening a door and going, and then you're there, as opposed to like feeling like you're going really far to a different part of the world. Didn't, mm -hmm. didn't we talk about having a central place where you can go anywhere? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, the whole school is centralized. Those portals allow you to go to where those places are. Right. But I think mm -hmm. as far as like on housing, campus, right? Like school, oh, like, yeah, yeah, dormitories. It's dormitories is yes. what I'm thinking of. So I, I think there should at least be two houses so that we can compete in sport. Yeah. Um, so we make it just two or we can make it more than two. I think, Danny, to make it hard for you, seven. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> I saw that coming, man. I was going to around I'm, I'm it. Thank you. if no one else did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great. All their own mascots. I love oh, it. God. I like three. I think three is good. I mean, three is a magical number, so can do like groups of three. Because if it's two, then it's just like there's a winner and a loser all the time. Uh, but if there's like three, it, it kind of like rotates and makes it a little easier for Danny since he doesn't have to do more than the bare minimum. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but we can still have the seven and only focus on two or three. Yeah. Two, yeah. So I think yeah. for the sake yeah. of clear world building, I do agree that seven is probably best. But I'd say if you guys want to just come up with two, I can fill in the blanks for the rest of them. Maybe we are all just part of two. So that way Danny doesn't have to spread out. Yeah. To... Hmm. Okay. Well, you, yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking 100. What would those answer? houses like? Two houses, further. like they didn't even make the playoffs. Like no one cares. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's just like the third house that's like yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if R. like the uh, the different seven wonders can also tie into like the um, schools of magic too. Like in where like when they were found, that was also how they developed a certain new type of magic, like transmortification and like. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's specialized. like specialized magic for each mm -hmm. like area that they kind of come from, and yeah. then they've developed yes. it into something else. Yeah, and you and you as students would still be able to access these in any of the classes that yeah. would be available. Mm -hmm. I will definitely be doing class schedules off stream now yeah. that yeah. I realize how. Okay. <laughs> 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 but yeah, cool. All right, so we've got so. the school. We still don't have a name. We further defined it, but we need a name. Uh, Wonder Skull. <laughs> what if it's like I don't know, like if the whole purpose of the school it, it, and and this might be bad, a bad idea, but like if it's around, they're building that the school is like helping to open up wonders for the to prevent the Aurora Borealis, like. Is it too on the nose to like name it Borealis, like Academy or some shit like that? Or like, I think, yeah. I was like, thinking like that? Star oh, of Borealis or something like that. Yeah. Cause... So we're all on the same page using the yeah. using that some, mm -hmm. somehow. Like it could be called like Boreala or something like Borealia. Or like a play <laughs> on it. Maybe not the exact word, but like a play on it. What's Borealis in Danish? <laughs> Probably Borealis because it's Latin. Probably. Boreala <laughs> Academy. Uh, the Greenlandic word for Northern Lights is uh, Arsarnerit. Hmm. And it means those who play ball. I... Oh. <laughs> those who are ballers. Who play ball. <laughs> that's it's cool. Ball. Actually, honestly, Arsarnerit, as I see it written out, that's pretty cool. How do you spell it? R A R S A R N E R I. I like that. I like that yeah. it ends in an I. That's I like fun. that it ends in, like, oh, yeah. Sorry. Arson With the T. Sorry, I forgot the T. With the T. Oh, there's a T. At the end. Arsanerit. Hmm. Hey, we found it. Well, we can own that Google term. Do we, is it just Arsanerit or Arsanerit uh, Academy or just Arsanerit School for the Gifted? 
<laughs> you just love this X thing. Yo, John Hickman's oh, writing something the crazy X Men story right now. I'm real into it. I think it should just be the Arsana because it has just the ancient feel to it. Mm-hmm. Wait, I'm gonna call yeah. it the Ars for short. <laughs> <laughs> That would definitely be what the rivals call all of you guys. Oh, shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. We're already coming Visitors. up with shade. <laughs> Sweet. We've done it. We've done the school details. Yay. Yay. We never gave... Did we come up with a name for the headmaster? Yeah, he's Poe. Poe. Po. Oh, no that's right. Bear. Okay, forget. I'm so sorry. Poe La Bear. <laughs> Oh, our bear. oh, there's still more. Don't worry, guys. We're not done. Ooh, can our mascot cool. so can our mascot also be polar bears, but by the way? <laughs> and he hates it. He just hates it. Yeah. But it's because it's like the so chibi version. <laughs> uh, yes, absolutely. Polar bear mascot. I'm not a very good Googler because I cannot find this word that you guys spelled for me. me can't spell. Uh, I, I I googled Greenland name for Aurora Borealis, and it's the f- second. Oh, there it is. This is the Greenlandic word for Northern Lights. Is that Arsenerit? Oh boy, it's gonna be fun. Um, I might have to find someone online who can pronounce that for me. <laughs> uh, all right, so now we get to go around and further define the school. I feel like we've done an excellent job already. Actually, we have way more information than I thought we were gonna be at. But now each player gets to share one piece of the school's history, either true or a famous rumor. I feel like we've got the history kind of down pat. So I think we can just jump right into rumors, things you've heard. They may or may not be true. They may be good, they may be bad. Um, so it could be a famous person or like a major yeah. event in the magical world that's centered on the school or, or something about the creation of the school. Oh, I got it. And again, I feel like we've got creation down and the door history, but we can, uh, yeah, we can, like, what have you heard as, as incoming students? Maybe something that fills you with dread or excitement about the school that you're not certain if that's a, a true thing. I heard that there's a giant like water monster squid thing that lives in the, in, <laughs> uh, nice. in the glacier that is actually oh, the thing that gives us all our magical powers. The kraken. Mm. It's a kraken. No, it's oh. not a kraken. It's a magical squid thing. <laughs> it's um, nice kraken. It was transported I, there by Dr. Manhattan. And... <laughs> I, I, I think... Uh, I'm already thinking of a character, and but I, I think part of what the draw is that this because of this this school has like the best like program for uh, like the history of magic. Like it's literally like you can like learn like they'll teach you exactly what you need to lo- know like like better than anyone else about like magical lore. It, you know what I mean? I don't mm-hmm. know. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How about there used to be a prof- professor who was a mammoth who turned against the school. They all had to freeze him. All the other teachers had to get around and freeze him. And you see remains frozen <laughs> to this day <laughs> in one of the oh, caves. Or... Oh, I got something. Use. I, oh, go for it. Go for it. Go over, Connie. Oh, no, no, no. I was just oh. excited about the frozen mammoth. <laughs> um, I, I, there, have been, there have been sightings of, of um, on a really st- blizzardy night, um, that if if you look out and onto like if you if you go out in towards like the 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 hills of the campus, you can see um, these this, these dark shadows and like red eyes uh, that are like the size of like children. The eyes are. The eyes. The, <laughs> the eyes are like the size of a children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, you know. Yeah. What? It's this huge. Oh, you see a huge shit. shadow with like I red love- eyes that are the size of like a small child. Okay, small child. Yeah. I love it. Ew. And uh, and uh, one person has gone to to search for it and never came back. Just one. And then yeah, because it was then, too spooky otherwise. Ah, <laughs> and and the eyes, one more set of eyes added to the the eyes out there that when he didn't come back. Oh, guys, not to burst the bubble, but the seven wonders of the ancient world are like all in the same place. <laughs> They're like all by Egypt and Greece. Ah, damn it. Damn it! <laughs> but the the seven wonders of the ones, of the modern world, I think, yeah. are all over the world. There's like Great Wall of China, Taj Mahal, Chichen Itza. Let's do those. Yeah. We'll do those. Damn. Modern. The, yeah. the pyramid is also one. 
Yeah. So we'll do the modern world. Modern. So we can still be the same age. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll be the modern world. Because that's, yeah, that's more diverse and more like spread out throughout the world as opposed to literally it was like, here they all are. <laughs> so maybe like the ancient ones were the first ones that started and then more, the more magical places started hopping up and that's why they added the modern. Yeah, like all, all the Grisht ones ended up in one little corner. Yeah. This little, this little conglomerate. There. <laughs> um, um, what was that last thing you said about eyeballs? Me? <laughs> children. Oh, yeah, well, of children. Yeah, Ryan finished it up with one more detail. And I oh, I, I, I said that, that the person who went out to investigate it, when they didn't come back, another set of eyes was added to uh, the, uh, the uh. eyes out there. Ew, I like that. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, I hate it. <laughs> You guys, I heard a wild rumor about the school. Oh, I want to hear you tell. So everyone knows that, like, once you reach this highest level of uh, wizardry or whatever, you kind of merge with your familiar. But I heard a rumor that if you fail in your wizardry, you become a a familiar human hybrid, and you're actually treated as an outcast. Ooh. Mm. Interesting. So like, centaurs aren't really revered. And just, oh, they're they're actually that's rude. And <laughs> but this but that makes like and this is all rumor. We don't know if it's true or not. Mm-hmm. But that makes like the centaurs or sirens and characters more badass because they're like oh. rebels. Mermaids. As people with the fish as familiars. Yeah, pan. Yep. Uh minotaurs. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. I like it. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool. They're like uh, they're more like dangerous because they're like they don't have a have control of their magic. Right. Like yeah. it more. Maybe the sphinx was yeah. one of these creatures that they had. Uh, I keep thinking of freezing. <laughs> they turned to stone. They turned to stone. And that that yeah. might be kind of like a little allude to our bad guy. Maybe that like if if yeah. if they're kind of the ones not fully in control, they want to bring that chaos that involves the aurora borealis, and so like that group of of half men, half women. Uh, creature things is like the cause of our destruction that's happening. Yeah. Okay, going back to the Aurora Borealis, what if like it being present is like when all the magical energy is like at its highest, kind of like a full moon or something like that for a werewolf? Like, mm-hmm. what if it being like it's because it's, it, you can't see it all year round, it only happens sometimes. So, what if the Aurora Borealis is like a time of great magic, kind of like Sozin's Comet or mm. like any of those kind of things where like the powers are the highest. Oh. oh. What if? What if? It doesn't have to be accepted, just a what if. One thing I like about this being in the north, or so far up is that near glaciers, is that you could have like a version of the school that's underwater, right under the ice and above mm-hmm. the ice, mm-hmm. so that there could be ways we can incorporate any animals that are fish or dolphins mm-hmm. or whatever. Ooh, nice. I can definitely see like a, an underwater one of these locations. It's like a moon pool where like creatures come up through the uh, oh. the pressurized little like abyss like chamber. Mm. This like, pool is really fucked. Like, why are children being like put here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Like all of them. Could, you, could we make it so that the, uh, so the professors who can change the animals can change back, and, and they, they don't have to just be the animal. That they could choose to be. I think that's or... what we kind of thought of is just they're more comfortable as their animal forms at that point. Yeah, right. they like prefer mm-hmm. their their animal form versus being a human because who wants to be a human? It's like if the human is here and the familiar is here and then they bond, they go up here. Yeah. So it I like raises we're... their hi- their senses and magic. I, I love it. I, just I think one teacher should oh, be a nice. fly or a... You're on a Batman, look it up. Spider or something, you know. I'll see you later, Grandudius. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, see you, Grandudius. Um, can there be the like one of the te- the professors like against the professor of the dark arts? Uh, the, the rumor has it, or not rumor, but this she's known for. Uh, she's the one who discovered like all of like the, like, like. Hispanic like monsters, you know what I mean? Uh, like, so she's a bruja from like Cuba who like discovered all, who encountered all these like Spanish mm. monsters. Like, like she yeah. is the Baba Yaga, <laughs> right? And she, like she's the one who like like she like yeah, like she discovered all of them and like that's she's like a proclaimed like defense against the dark arts because she has encountered and like dealt with all these beings and, and like these 
monsters yes, and stuff like that. Werewolf. He obviously That's entered through half Kenya. human, half. So yeah. think about all the creatures. So and vampires her... or half human, half bad. You know, werewolves. Yeah. Humans you guys, we can get into some nice cryptid stuff here. That's like, yeah. really her name, if we need a name for her, she can be called uh, Leda Santiago. Lady Santiago is pretty dope. Her first name is uh, we'll Leda. Leda. L E I D A. Leda. And she's a professor? She goes by Lady Wait. Santiago. That's cool. That's dope. That's dope. That's cool. That's nice. All right. You're badass. We've got rumors for days. We're in like four <laughs> seconds. So we'll have to come back to the world later. Um, really four sessions. <laughs> of just the gossip and uh, shade. But there are things actually that are gossip. There actually will so be. Well, we've actually kind of covered one of them, so we can skip that that last question. But uh, so now we have rumors about current goings on at the school, secret projects, popular students' relationships, et cetera, like things that you've heard that are maybe a little more petty or a little more pressing. Some of the stuff we've already gone over does talk about like imminent threat, um, but I think these could be smaller, maybe goofier mm-hmm. things that you might have heard. Like who's dating who? Yeah, yeah. So like, he's dating who, or it's like I think those two professors are totally going at it, like that, <laughs> you know, yeah, that kind of stuff, or or like yeah, whatever, whatever you want. So this is, uh, yeah. So it's like, what is something you've heard? Like, oh, you know, I think the potions professor might be working on something in the back room that he's not supposed to be, like that kind of stuff, like like every rumor about every teacher ever, or like at every school ever. There's always something, right? Um. Especially for since we deal with a lot of archaeological digs and stuff at our school, I'd want to say like at least one of the teachers is been seen like going to the discovery tunnels after hours and Ooh, bringing oh. stuff back. That's dope. Mm-hmm. Um, That's dope. I heard that um, one of the teachers, uh, I don't know what class he teaches, but he changes his appearance and he's actually really famous archaeologist in the human world, but like. <laughs> He's not. He's a he, he's he's a magic person. Nice. Are they called wizards, witches? Yeah, sure. What are they called? You mean witches, wizards. Yeah, you just gonna use that terminology, and I just need to know. Yeah, no one owns it. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. And she's just like it's it's just Indian and Jones. He's also a wizard. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yep. But like he's That's like famous, good. and he's in like all these 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 human like non magical newspapers and stuff. Like he's very famous. I hear that if you tell the lunch lady uh, uh, any sort of chisme or gossip, <laughs> then she'll give you extra food for the day. <laughs> mm. Mm. <Perfect>. Yes. <laughs> oh, I have just a secret police that they don't talk about that huh? go that goes. That secret boy, my best is. You read first that. <laughs> We're like talking about like stupid shit, and he's like secret police. There. <laughs> there's there's a layer of security that no one really knows about, but everyone's heard exists for people who are, are doing tutorial? too much. You know who are I don't know if you. So like a severe that. detention kind of thing. Yeah, or, sort of, but like, no one knows how they operate. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Like jerks that patrol the school, like like hall monitors oh, on school. Exactly. Oh, yeah. who like they abuse know. their position of power oh, a little yeah, bit. Oh, yeah, I love that. Ooh. And they're all named Randall. <laughs> <laughs> or Chad. Oh, Randall. <laughs> <laughs> Loved Recess. That was such a good show. Yeah. Um, um, oh, man, there's, this is fun. I just want to say for Are some we just assuming yeah. that everything that we actually bring up is true? We'll like, find it's out. It's like rumors, yeah. yeah so it might be. These don't necessarily have to be true, but they could be things that you could explore because you've heard of this thing. So it gives you an impetus of something to do as a group. I heard that there's little creatures that actually do all the housework. They're like little rats, but they have human hands. <laughs> um, there's a rumor that that the headma- headmaster Poe um, had a lover and and it was married at some point to someone but no one knows who and if you bring it up uh, they will just dodge the question entirely wow yeah so looking juicy juicy yeah. Ooh, i want the ass- oh, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> uh i was gonna say i just want the astrology teacher or whoever's in in charge of like the observatory or like watching the moon to be dating a, a where person 
Cute. Oh, that's dope. Mm. Yeah. But it's like secret and they don't want to talk about it. <laughs> and you don't know date who night, the other person night. is. You date don't know and then you date. don't know who the where person is. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Like it's they, someone we all know. It's probably another professor or at least a groundskeeper. Mm-hmm. But you don't know who it is. Uh, oh, there's yeah. recently been rumors of a problem that the students think that the students are convinced is real, but the teachers don't buy, <laughs> where there are reports of of uh, little little like pixies that that sneak in while someone's sleeping and eat their homework. <laughs> 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 but only the students believe in the teachers are like, okay, well, you're lying, so. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> but there's been reports in like all the different houses. Yeah. 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 All the dormitories are like losing their minds. Yeah. Like, I swear. Like, it was right here. Like, 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 like one guy it. like tried to stage a little experiment of like a little ink pot that the fairy had to step through to get to the homework. And he's like, look, look, there's feet. I found them. But nobody believes. Yeah. The teacher's, like, the teacher's like, Jean, did you talk to Jean about this and you guys collaborate? <laughs> collaborate yes, lady. You guys are in different houses. I'm El Camino. Thank you for the follow. All right. I think we've got rumors for days. It's okay. time for character creation. Ooh. Um, yeah. All right. So we're going to do. Let me see what else I need to do. Okay. So you're going to need to select a trope from the playbook, and then you'll look at that character sheet. So that will be, of course, I didn't write that page number down. That Appendix A. That sounds right. Page 87. Nice. There we go. Thank you. Page 87. So we have uh, the aloof teacher, the bullheaded muscle, the charismatic slacker, the daring athlete, hmm. the doting caretaker, the famous teacher, the firstborn caster, the funny klutz, the Golden Child, the Haughty Descendant, Haunted Survivor, Offbeat Eccentric. So many. The Perfect Prefect. Yeah, I mean, you can flip through. I'm just reading it for the chat. Hmm. Uh, reliable Bestie, Teacher's Pet, Unlikely Ally, Reluctant Oracle, Wacky Prankster, and Withdrawn Bookworm. Hmm. So all of these are up for grabs. I just ask that none of you repeat because there's plenty of options to choose from. Danny, I accidentally made my character already. <gasps> How dare you be prepared? I made it. Like, if someone He's wants to take this, I'm happy to change it. Uh, no, you're I'm good. totally happy to change it. I yeah. made a firstborn caster. That's right. what I wanted. <laughs> if you want to do it, I'll, I'll change it. I'll, I'll so because I, I I know how to do this process. So if you want to take that, I can change that. No, it's okay. I just I am the firstborn, and I'm very um. You needed for this one. You can both be that. I think that's fine. I think that's perfectly fine. That's so sweet of you, man. <laughs> no need to sacrifice. You guys. I can also pick Golden Child if you want. Nah, you're good. Do, do your first point. Do what your heart's set on. Everybody else, though. <laughs> I'm going to do Golden Child. I'm going to do Golden Child. Okay. Do Golden Child? okay. Yeah, I'm going to do Golden Child then. All right. They're pretty similar. Yeah. Hmm. I'm I'm definitely kind of trying to stick with the my Ravenclaw house, so I'm going either like withdrawn <laughs> bookworm or something related. I'd put you as funny klutz. Okay. Now I don't <laughs> <laughs> since you asked. Uh, I'll be the withdrawn bookworm. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, Ryan's like, I'm leaning toward withdrawn bookworm, and can, I'm going to be the withdrawn bookworm. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Take it back. You take it back? All right. I'll go with withdrawn okay. bookworm then. Okay. Uh, and so you can see when you when you pick your, your thing, it gives you your... Um, your uh, dice assignment, which mm. is on the top right of your character sheet. So you can fill those in. So like for, oh. uh, for instance, withdrawn bookworm for brains, it's your D20. For flight, it's D12. For fight, D10 and so on. So fill those in as you make your decisions. Uh, I'm changing mine. So no one has picked funny clits? I'm gonna change mine. No. Okay. You're changing yours? Clits? Yeah. So if you want firstborn caster, you can go for it. I'm gonna be the haughty descendant because I think that's more uh, on brand for me. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll, I'll be in one of those podcasts. H A U T H T Y. 
Yes. Sorry, we first said I'm yeah, like hottie. I'm hottie. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm the hottie descendant. I'm hottie descendant. makeup, thank you. You'll be the hottie, oh, hottie you descendant. You got your cool hair thing happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a little hair waterfall. You got your hair nice. water fountain. Oh, Matt, are you no longer golden child? No, I'm, I am back to first one caster. <laughs> I'll take golden child then. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Perfect. That'll be funny clutz. Cool. I got it. All right, so Kenny's funny. That, that Will is just so perfect. He just can't. You know? He's just. <laughs> Look at his hair. Come on. It's giving me Dracula. Ah, cool. <laughs> and we got. So Ryan's withdrawn bookworm. So Connie, what you got? Uh, I'm looking at either reluctant oracle or offbeat eccentric. Those are both on brand for you. Yeah. Yes. I. If you want opinions, I have one. But if you don't, just take your time. Go for it. I think I think offbeat eccentric will give us lots of fun in this world. Yes. Done. Do we all pick? Oh, sorry. Chat is also screaming reluctant oracle. So maybe. <laughs> reluctant oracle. Well, because is that I wanted her to be kind of smart. Yeah, brains. That works. All right. So reluctant oracle. Mm hmm. Noise. Nice. Cheer up, chat. Cheer up, chat. We got that. We, we I like got that no you. one picked teacher's pet. <laughs> she, she said eccentric oracle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So He's now let's go back to this. So you uh, grade strength. Sorry. 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 Uh, we can get. Sorry. Sorry. Let me see. Oh yeah, and you can see there are likely strengths and likely flaws, and you can kind of, we can hash those out later, maybe on your own time before next week, but just know that those are the options kind of there and you can have those questions ready. Uh, and we'll go to, whoop. So just to further define, just so you know, brains are book smarts, brawn is like brute strength or intimidation, fight is like your fighting skill, but also your ease of learning new weapons or skills, or fighting skills rather. Uh, flight is like speed and evasion, charm is social adeptness uh, and convincing people, grit is keeping cool in tough situations and your street smarts. Um, so now what we can do is determine our character grades. I have a question. Yeah, what's up? Um, okay, so these things in the boxes, like it, mine says like, am I, well, I guess everybody has this document. It says like D20, fight, D12, charm. Like what is, what are those? What is yeah, that? So, uh, so you are, you are haughty. Haughty descendant. Haughty descendant. So uh, your fight will be your D20. Okay. Um, and then- Do I write this down anywhere on my sheet? Yeah, so where it says stats, that D right next to that, you'll just put 20 at fight and then at oh, 12 next there year. it is i was like where am i supposed to write all these yeah you'll be filling that in and then matt you might know this um for the the stats and magic those are like the bonuses that we're gonna get in a minute right yeah are... so yeah so the stats and magic we're gonna you're gonna get those when we when you select your like wand and your grade and your broom um that's going to give you bone whatever you choose will give you a bonus to that certain skill so you'll add like for example, like if I chose the broom, like the tough break, uh, I get plus one to grit checks when I'm on broom. So then it's like, I add plus one on, yeah. Yeah. Cool. That makes sense. Okay. Thank and like you. your wand will have like a wood and a core. So you're gonna get bonuses. Once we finish that, add those up, put them in the, like, you know, in the box, like where it says brain, so it's like stat. So no, when you roll that D, like whatever that stat is, add that bonus. Mm -hmm. But that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, wands are not particularly specific, right? So it's like the wood gives you a plus one to one thing, and then the core gives you a plus one to something else, correct? Yeah, and if you, uh, there's, it's specific, yeah, exactly. And if you want the specifics of what, like, what exactly the core and the wood is, like, um, it's on page, mm -hmm. it's on uh, 22. 22. Yeah, but like, yeah, so whatever you pick, it's gonna give you a, like, for example, wood, whatever you pick, like, if I pick Hawthorne, it'll give me a plus one to my brains. And then for the core, if I pick Dragon's Heartstring, then it'll give me a plus one to my fight. Okay. And if you go to page 22, you'll see them under examples of wood and examples of core, Perfect. if you want the specifics. All right, so everybody's got their, uh, got their details figured out as far as like the dice numbers and all that. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> So now I do have down. a clarifying question for you, Danny. As a, yeah. is is the for like 
for broom is do you get that you get that bonus only when you're on broom or does that right. yeah. yeah you only get it when you're when you're actively on your broom okay tight 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 mm -hmm. Aw, tight, tight, tight. We still say it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Tight, tight, tight. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> yes. Nice. Uh, you just rub right. off on us. So Aww. now, if everybody wants to flip over to uh, page twenty-two, uh, now you're going to pick the wood and the core of your wand. And if you don't necessarily want it to be a wand it can be like you know some sort of magical focus device it could be an orb or a ball really it doesn't matter i just know that you're going to give yourself boosts but if you do choose something give it give it some meaning to your character i think uh oh sorry you're also supposed to uh i might have skipped a couple things yeah, oh yeah great. we didn't do our character grades we have to do that first <laughs> sorry oh oh skipped ahead. uh so now we get to choose whether you're going to be uh an underclassman uh which would be ages 14 or under or upper class, 15 to 20, and faculty, 21 or over. And then you would obviously be working for the school. Um, mm, just, mm, I'm probably gonna go with upper based on what we experience in this chat. Okay, so you'll receive the, the trained in uh, strength. So under strengths, just write trained in dot, 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 and then give yourself a plus one to fight and brawn and just have that off to the side so you have that and that that'll be also true for anyone else who chooses upper class um so determining this this is on oh gosh i think it's page 12 somewhere so i had just skipped forward too fast and i have a plus in what uh f flight oh, sorry no uh fight and brawn hmm. okay so fight brawn uh do you want us to not write these until like all of those are like the stat and the that the, stuff. The number might change depending on your wand and what you choose. Um, okay. Yeah. Just so that you can track it right now. So I'd say maybe write it in pencil if you're doing a. a... I only have a pen. Yeah. <laughs> but I have a note page. Um, I'm also going to be upperclassman, Danny. Okay, cool. So I'll take that plus one fight in brawn. Cool. Uh, and then if you're going younger, underclass, that's going to be plus one to flight and charm. So flight and charm instead of fight. So flight, charm. Uh, and then if you're faculty, you're going to get plus one brains and grit. But those aren't the dice. No, mm -hmm. right? these are the like dice modifiers. are always the same. So this yeah. is either going to be one the stat or the magic. But like if you, right? Yeah, so I think strengths affect the stat. Mag? Yeah, it's so strengths is going to like always affect the stat. So you're like you're you're trained in a uh, fight in brawn. You're always going to get that plus one if you're mm. rolling for one of those things. Um, when you add your wand, it's only when you're using your wand you get that bonus. And when you're on your broom, it's only when you're on the broom you add the bonus. But that's going to stack with like the permanent stat. Okay, that makes sense. Nice. And is there there's a place to write that? Kind of. Uh, I would say for right now, just because I'm not sure. So sorry. I would just write it right next to where yeah. it says strengths. Because so, it's not uh, like your wand, like would do it. Would I just be like plus one brain or? Yeah, yeah. We'll get to wands next. But that's um, like when I'm using the wand, I get that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I literally put it like, like for the for the, I, I just put everything in the same line. So like great, I put upperclassman plus one to fight in brawn. Um, and then like that one I leave permanently on my stat. If that makes sense. If this is confusing. That's totally cool. Because uh, <laughs> um, I know like that the grade one is always going to be there. So I leave that as like my plus one stat, right? And then when I look down at broom, I have my broom. It says mechanic benefit plus one to grit checks for me. Okay, right? so you write that in like the broom. Yeah, and line. in your wand, it'll be the same thing. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. But will there be any more things that stack? Or can I write my plus one fight and plus one brawn? Uh, wait till we get done with brooms before you do anything permanently, I guess. Okay. No? Yes? Yes. Yeah. yeah, but again, like Matt says, I have a note change whether or not you're using things, so. I have a note sheet. It's not my character sheet. It's just okay. notes. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, so like you should have numbers for when you're just yourself doing stuff, when you have your wand out, or when you're on your broom. Or if you're on your broom and you have your wand out, I guess you can just like, ah, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> All the true. stacks. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Uh, so is everybody going upper class? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm upper class too. Screw teachers. We don't need them. 
Well, that's well. There you go. So that's easy. So you're everyone needs one Giles, guys. That's what I'm uh, perfect. Cool. Uh, and then you'll select your strengths and flaws, uh, and you'll do that according to your character trope, which is back back in the appendices. Um, so it has likely strengths and likely flaws. And again, these things, these sort of like fillables. So it's like the strengths, the flaws, the questions. Uh, you'll answer those questions on your character sheet. Um, and you can just, I think, just send those to me. Yeah. yeah. So you don't have okay. to do that right now, but just answer those questions for next time. Uh, and then you'll select your first name. So not your last name, just your first name. Hmm. Huh. Let's pull up a generator. I have a question for you, Danny. Yeah. Um, can I, uh, if it's okay with you, can I swap out one of my flaws for a different one? Yeah. I don't. Totally. Uh, I'm gonna swap out timid for overconfident. Sweet. Yeah. So and it'll be tempted and naive as well. Are do we get all three of those, or all whatever number of them, or do we just choose one? That's a good question. That actually is a good question. Mm hmm. Uh, flaws. I, I think you do choose. It should say on the. You choose at least two, two or more. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so pick two strengths and two flaws. Yeah, and okay. and yeah, these are these are suggestions also. So like like Matt just had an idea for his own. Like if you have something that you feel is going to fit what you want to play, by all means, just yeah, you can come up with one. And that's totally fine. And this is more like to help you zero in on your character. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Cool. I really love this game. Have I said that before? Sure. I, I'm, so I, I'm really excited to live I'm out my excited. Sabrina Teenage Witch fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> you have names yet? No. I do have a okay. name for me. Uh, Phineas Flitwick. No last name yet. Oh, sorry. Sir. Bitch. I didn't That's listen. First name. That's his middle name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't be Flitwick. That's a professor's name. All right, I'll take it off. Oh, thank you, Captain, Captain Aura. Aura. Thank you for that. Uh, just, I don't know what this does, so accu Yay. donation. Aww. Oh, Thanks, Haley. Mm. Uh, we're just hard eyes. Characters right now. Penguin says, ew, she's using a generator. So? I use generators all the time. They're the best. They're super helpful. I can't think. Captain Aura. Oh, you can uh, You can pick my name. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> go for oh, Haley. Yeah, so, Haley, pick Kenny's name. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, my name. I'm a funny klutz, by the way. Uh, it's his full name's Francisco, but he goes by Cisco. Nice. His nickname yeah, awesome. with everyone. Captain. I'm going to be Tabitha. Ooh. I'm nervous. <laughs> 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 I should be writing y'all's names down too. Yeah. <laughs> Tabitha, Cisco, Phineas. You said it was Franc uh, short for Francisco? Yeah. Is it C I S C O or S I S C O? A C I S C O. Okay. Characters. Wow. I need to go get a pen. That works. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> Art says Paco. <laughs> no, Nacho. Nacho's my favorite. Corey says Orwellius. Oh, that's true, Arsenal Roy 2K. Our friend Scott Rubin has a game out uh, for, for picking kick ass yes, fantasy Kidrick. names. I like it. Kidrick. Awesome. Kidrick? Oh. Whose name is what? Name. Thank you. My, my name is Kidrick. Uh, Kenny is Kidrick. <laughs> Kid Rick, related to I... Pickle Rick. Oh, I'm a little kid. Some people call me Kid for short. Cause I kid. Hey, kid. I kid, I kid. Oh. Will, what's your name? Did you get a name? A random, random turn up. Uh, I think I just decided on Harvey. Harvey. Nice. With an E Y or just a Y? E Y. Okay. Is, who is that for? A random turn up. Is that for Kenny as well? For a Q to be somebody's uh, middle initial. Bonnie, what's your name? Um, I'm gonna go with Crystal with a K, but everybody calls her Kiki. Mm. 
I'm writing key. <laughs> That really affected Ryan. No, I just, oh, I just oh, thought about oh, the Oh, wait till you see my cat. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thing. <laughs> you have uh, a side delivery service. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, what was your character's name again? Tawny? Tabitha. 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 Oh, how confusing would it be if my character's name was Connie? No, oh, God. No. <laughs> That's and like Ryan, what was yours again? Phineas with a PH. Game Phineas? Yes. <laughs> the, uh, so Chunk and Cucumber are playing in this game, and the third player, uh, Noir Enigma, is playing a character named Rupert. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or throwing me off. I don't know if it's throwing him off, but it makes me laugh every time. It's throwing him off. <laughs> he told me yesterday. <laughs> Uh, hooray, so we did that. Uh, so you have options to be different species if you wish. Um, so like magical species like, you know, vamps, werewolves, centaurs, etc. Although I also feel like we've sort of built in the reality for those creatures specifically, so maybe they wouldn't be in the school. Um, so maybe not, so maybe we're all just humans. Unless, uh, I guess if one of us is one of those creatures and maybe we're here in disguise, I, but we wouldn't let each other know that at this point. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yes. What if Secrets. the descendants of the half and half creatures were given like a fair shot to, you know, go through the school, but maybe there's like people were racist against them or they treated them like second class students or something, but because their parents, you know, didn't make it or something. I don't know. Maybe there's a way we can introduce do you do you Sins like merge? The subplot. Do you like mm. merge with your spirit animal thing? Um, what are they called? Familiar. Familiar. Yeah. Do you yeah. merge with your familiar at graduation or like pass a test or are you like in your like fifties? Like hmm. I, I think it's it's. I would equate it to sort of like re reaching wizard enlightenment. So it can happen yeah. at any stage of your life. So it's not it's not a requirement to graduate the school, um, but it does sort of like mark you as like you know a, a very powerful wizard in this particular arena. Okay. So even even some of your teachers might not be bonded with their familiars. Because then, like to Kenny's point, I would say like well counter argument I guess um, I would say that like their kids might not be they would be human as opposed to already mm. merged you know because if it's yeah. like if you have a centaur parent and a, and a mermaid parent they weren't centaur and mermaid beforehand they were human and so they'd make another human baby they wouldn't make a yeah fish that, that kid baby <laughs> yeah. To go on. yeah yeah i think that makes sense I, I so like that. everybody has a fair shot at magic you're all humans Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Now we can determine race, ethnicity, <laughs> gender, uh, pronouns, and sexuality. Uh, which uh, is there a spot for that on the sheet? There's well, there's always a spot for that. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. A there, age and pronouns are there. Um, sexuality is just uh, in your notes, I guess. Cool. Description. Yeah. yeah. Or in description. Yeah. This is an incredible system. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. really cool. Very inclusive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spencer, like, yeah, Spencer's a, a buddy of ours, and he's he's the one of the writers for the book, and he's just so he's so great. Like they they do such a great job with this. If you guys like this, you'll also like kids on bikes, and yeah. uh, the one that's different. It's like a little harder than this stuff, but uh, kids in space or teens mm -hmm. in space is also very good. It's the same dudes, same guys. Yes, Spencer's great. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'm going to be age 17, pronouns he, him, and sexuality, uh, he's straight. Cool. I'm going to be 16, pronouns she, her, cis, female. Straight. Do what you know. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. I'll just be me. I feel like it's so much easier just to be me. Yeah, that's a great, good starting point for sure. Yeah. Um, Phineas, 17, he, him. Hmm. I'm going to be, um, Harvey is 19, uh, pronouns are they, them. And I am uh, 
fluid? I'm up for anything. Hey, cool. Will, you're 19? Yes. Oh, and you're 17? Yes. How old was Cisco? Six, 16 or 17? 17. 17. I'm gonna say I am 16, he, him, and I'm asexual. So I don't yeah. really have a sexual sexual attraction any. 16? Anyone in particular, yep. Uh, I will also go with 16, uh, she, her, and uh, she will also be open. Open-ended. One more detail that I forgot to ask about is your, uh, so your favorite class. So what's your favorite class at the school and who is that teacher? Hmm. Honey, how old are you? 16. I was not paying attention. Hmm, hmm. Give me what you say. <laughs> weird, judge, weird judge, that's a good question. I think we'll probably get to that at the top of next week as far as what everyone's physical descriptions are, because we may or may not be, be wrapping up full character creation today. We've got about 15 minutes or so. No, about 25 minutes or so. <laughs> um, I, I definitely think, um, even though, I definitely think that the, the Leda, uh, lady, lady, uh, um, Antibale. Antibale. Oh. Santiago, <laughs> Santiago. Thank you. Lady Santiago is definitely his favorite. Um, uh, my favorite professor, um, okay. and my favorite class because I, I want to like know more about not just her history, but the history of the things that I've been taught that turns out are true. <laughs> what does she teach? She's like, she's the cryptid Cryptids? teacher. She's like the, yeah, okay, yeah, I think so. Why not? It's going to be her, her thing. Yeah. Cryptology? Is that a thing? Hmm. I guess it's in, or defense against malicious magic is the, right? Oh. I think that's, that's in the book. That's what it's, I think it's. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys need help uh, thinking of like what kind of classes, it's Ooh. on page 37. Mm -hmm. um, and those are. Yeah. Perfect. And we we take three. We all take three classes. Well, that's a nice easy load. Nice. Goes on your class schedule once you make your decisions. <laughs> but this at least starts you off with with one and your favorite. And feel free to name that teacher and all that stuff. <laughs> Beard on a Batman sculpting creatures with Professor Parn. <laughs> 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 Good old Parn. Which page was that again, Matt? That's 37. 37. If you're using oh, the, um, what's it called? The PDF, it's yeah. it's like a few pages later, but look at the bottom of the actual PDF, like right. pages, not the pa PDF page. Uh, and the three classes that we invented, uh, just so you guys remember, are familiar husbandry, localized time magic, and artifact dowsing. Artifact Ooh. dowsing. So if we wanted those as options, and then I can give those stats so that you guys can learn and, and up those. I'll have um, for you later. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take artifact dowsing. Yep. That's awesome. I think we're all taking that class. <laughs> yeah, I want that time magic. <laughs> Hell yeah. And I'm gonna take divination too. I got my classes. I'm very excited to go to school. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> what were the classes again? Yeah. What page? Artifact uh, dowsing. No, the ones. Oh, oh, the new ones. Yeah. So it's familiar husbandry. Localized time magic and artifact dowsing. I think my fa my character's favorite class is familiar husbandry. That's awesome. Awesome. And then, if you'd like to name the teacher, feel free. Uh, what about Professor Serpentine? Yes. Ooh, I want to be in that class. Mm 
Oh. Can my three classes be those three that we invented? Oh. Or should it be at least one? No, it, it can be whatever. I, I'll still stat them like the normal classes that are already in the book. I just haven't decided what they're what they're going to boost yet. Oh, got it. There's only cool. three. Maybe I should choose one of these. Cool. All right. So it's all coming together. Yeah. yeah. We're almost there. Home stretch. Should we... What's that? Should we write in our class schedule or just on our note paper? Uh, you can write it in your class schedule if you know what it is. Um, but yeah, if you're not sure, you can put it on your note paper for now. Well, I don't, I don't know what you're asking me. Cause like there's a page that says class schedule. Like, are we supposed to write it in that? Like where these classes, or are we just supposed to know what classes we're signed up for? Yeah, yeah. So your full schedule goes on the class schedule thing, but this is just know who your favorite teacher is and know what they teach, and okay. and their name basically. So okay. have that oh. handy. So that that can go in your in your notes, but the uh, the all three classes together are going to go on your schedule. Okay. I have my three. I have my three. Cool. Uh, familiar husbandry, artifact dowsing, and charms. Remove my three. <laughs> Perfect. All right. With a minor in localized time magic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then right. if you want to, to finish your schedules on your own, that's cool too, because then we can sort of like cross reference and determine like teachers names and all that stuff so we don't have duplicates um or not duplicates but so we don't have extras floating around hmm. um but if we want we can hop ahead to wands yeah yeah <laughs> all right so the uh the wands wood is going to be the first thing that you're going to decide this is going to be on page 52 i think or did i fuck that up again nope it's not that spells 22 wands, you had it once yeah, it's earlier. It's 22, I think. Yeah, wait. 22. Yeah. 22. Perfect. Um, so we've got for... It'll tell you on that page uh, which stat is going to be boosted by which type of wood. So brains, it'll be wisteria or hawthorn. Brawn will be pine or oak. Fight will be crab ap apple or dogwood and so on all the way down the list. And just pick your wood, but also like get creative if you don't want to use one of the ones that's in this book by all means choose a wood or, or a substance that you like um perfectly fine with that and same thing for the cores just know that when you whatever you're basically just choosing uh two plus one bonuses to go somewhere mechanically that's what's happening but creatively i'd like it to be close to who your character is as far as like what what materials you're choosing what's so what the outside is and what the inside is Okay, I have mine. Um, I uh, chose um, Hawthorne as my wood. Cool. To give me a plus one for brains, and um, my and with a wolf's tooth to give me a plus one fight. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. And then there is a place on your thing for that, correct? Yes. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yep. Wood. Sweet. So, so is it two? So plus one for the type of wood, and it's plus one for the core. Yes. So plus two. Okay. Perfect. Nice. So mine is going to be a cherry wood, and down the center of it is a piece of steel, and it's kind of crafted in such a way that it's like folded together, so that. Like how they do the tang of a piece of uh, like a, a nice knife. How you can see like the metal going across the the top and the bottom. You see that one long ridge of metal through it too. Cool. <laughs> Everyone in the chat is just picking wormwood woods. <laughs> <laughs> My wand is cool. lilac wood with a diamond core. Ooh. Because hers would be charm and grit. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mine's gonna be lilac as well with a phoenix feather. But instead of in the middle of it, well, it has to be in the middle. I was gonna say it could be like kind of or. wrapped around hmm. it going to, towards the tip. Whatever so. you want for the look, man. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And then the, there's a little feather sticking out the end. 
Mm-hmm. Like tickle people with. Ew. Like, <laughs> but in a funny way. I don't like being Not tickled. In a creepy way. <laughs> yeah, because you're you're like the klutz, right? You're the goof. So that's yeah. No. yeah. That's how, you're, that's how you make friends. <laughs> yeah. <okay. laughs> Class clown. <laughs> Am I the last one to pick? No, I still got mine too. Okay, so I got the wood. I want a birch wood, so it's like a light colored wand. But instead of a lion's mane, can it be like a lion heart? Mm. Lion heart string? There you go, lion heart string. Yeah. Cool. So it's the the grit. Now you're the last one. Now I'm the last one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna link you guys if you need any of these assets for, like, character sheet if you don't have it, uh, and like the classic room like the class schedule. I didn't download that. I'm gonna put it in the chat right now. Perfect. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah. It'll be at the bottom of the page. You'll you'll see at the bottom of the page. Okay. And for the for the cores, we can kind of uh, wait. Let's see. I'm gonna go with um, dogwood. And for the core, I want to do. I'm trying to find what this would be the closest to, so I so it will be an equivalent change. Um, maybe closest to a wolf's. Tooth, I want to do a hyena tongue. Cute. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Hyena. Oh, I want to change my neck. <laughs> <laughs> hyena tongue is awesome. <laughs> Cause it That's great. Cool. We got wands. Woo! Yay. Yay. Hey. Uh, now mm-hmm. turn, play, uh, please. Plays. I can't talk play, anymore. Play, 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 play. And we're going to pick our brooms. Um, so there are all the various brooms here. We've got the blocker's broom all the way down to the weasel's whisk. And they all have different uh, descriptions of what type of rider you would be on it. And then uh, the mechanical benefits are gonna be on the right there. And you can just choose those. Um, those aren't gonna be particularly variable. Um, but also think about how, how did you get your broom? Was it gifted? Did you save up for it? Um, did you steal it? Like, mm-hmm. how, how'd you get your hands on it? Yeah, man. Uh, I'm gonna take the tough break. Um, and this is it is actually it's a pretty it's a pretty rough looking broom that's like a, a it's like a dark wood, and it's it's one that I was actually uh, I was like I I found that like my parents had just they had it, but like they didn't real realize like no one knew what it was from. No one knows where we got it from. Uh, no one in my family was magical, but like someone has gifts, like they, they were, it was gifted to them, but they don't know where it came from or like why, like, you know, why it, it was to them, but they've been holding it. So that's why it looks, it's like really crappy looking. And that's hmm. why, huh. but that makes sense. Yeah. I'm taking the bolting 4,000. <laughs> it was a Christmas gift because I told my parents that I really liked flying. And so they bought me the fastest one on the market, which was the bolting 4,000. It's all black with silver. Um, those things. Trim Sweet, sweepers. Oh, oh. <laughs> the uh, sweepy bristles? stuff. Bristles. Yeah. It's black with silver bristles, and they're all like swept, like they've been like hair gelled. And there's obviously like silver and platinum detailing on it. I'm going for the Daredevil's Duster. Uh, because if you perform a stunt, you get plus three charm to check against any character who witnessed the, the stunt. So I, I'm a I'm a show off. Uh, mm-hmm. I come from a nice. family of uh, performers, so they all basically, when I got into school, they all banded together and bought and bought me this as a gift. Genuine circus broom. Yeah, I haven't exactly <laughs> figured it out yet, but uh, I'm learning. Oh, and Danny, mine gives me a plus one to do grit uh, yes. grit checks on broom. Just Mine's light. Plus one to flight. Yeah, definitely write those on your character sheets because ple- yeah. uh, I'll be asking for all of your sheets and notes when this is done. Um, but cool, 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 cool. Ta-ta-ta. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go with the uh, the map maker's friend. Uh, short description, level-headed. If you know the area, you cannot get lost. That is literally the Ryan Broom. That's amazing. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. I'm going with Weasel's Whisk. It's very sneaky and can gain the unassuming strength. Ooh, I don't even know that one. That's, uh, I don't either, but it sounds cool. <laughs> strengths are somewhere. Oh no. Uh, where are strengths? <laughs> All right, then I'm definitely gonna go with the Valiance 2400. Mm. Like that, we all have different rooms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm lost. I don't know where strengths are, so I can't define that for you, Will. So I that. I'm sure we'll know what it is by next week. Good point. Good yeah, Valiance nice 2400 point. is brave, and you may ignore your fears. Ooh. Sweet. Is that everybody's room? Can we do it? I think so. Next up, the best one. Familiars. Hmm. <laughs> Now, in the book, it says familiars are not allowed to come to class. I would obviously say the exception being your uh, your animal uh, or your, your husbandry class. But even then, I think they're lenient because of what the school is and what it's been based on. So I think as long as they're not disruptive, you'd probably be welcome to bring your familiars anywhere on the grounds of, of our particular school. Um, and think of them as a reflection of some core aspect of your personality. Um, they say small enough to carry with you, but again, I feel like this school would be extraordinarily accommodating to familiars since so much of their curriculum is based around them. So don't worry about that either. Um, and you can have one way psychic communication with them so they can uh, do small tasks for you, like go and collect this item or whatever, which would also lead into the games uh, that we mentioned before. Huh. There is an ability, um or a class, I forgot, I gotta look it up, but if, if anyone like wanted to have two-way communication with their character, there is a way to do that, and I can look it up for you after if that's an, an ability you wanted to take. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Danny, going back to the professor thing. Yeah. Um, Cause I've been looking at names cause I couldn't think of a name. My favorite class is summoning with professor Antigone. Oh, that's sick. Nice. Um, I'm gonna, can mine be, my, my familiar be a pug hmm. named Ace? It, yes. Awesome. <laughs> uh, I was like German Shepherd. I'm like, no. no. <laughs> yeah. Connie, are you going to have a small black cat? Yes, I am. Okay, then I won't have a small black cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a black cat named Gigi. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And yes, I would like to learn how to like telepathically communicate with my cat, like back and forth to where she could like kind of report back what she sees or, you know. Sweet. I am going to have a red panda named Pabu. What? <laughs> are, you just, are you just using names from other things yeah. for everything <laughs> new? <laughs> They got movies yep. at the school, right? You know, yeah, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, we got Netflix. Yeah, mm -hmm. mine's gonna be my family's gonna be a, a woodpecker named Woodrow. <laughs> I'm gonna have a baby goat named Kiddo. Cute, <laughs> Kiddo. I'm gonna have a jumping spider, like a large one. Ooh. But <laughs> It's gonna be like like this big. Is it Lucas? It's on my shoulder. It's not Lucas, but yeah, basically looks like it's a <laughs> it's a it's a black and gray with white detailing Cute. on on him. But I don't have a name yet. 
Awesome. So, I think this is a good stopping point for mm. today. Because mm -hmm. I know Connie's got to go in a couple <laughs> minutes or so. And I think, yeah, two hours is good for this. Um, so at the top of next week, what we're going to do is our introductions, which would which would normally be the next step. So we would go around the table, introduce the details of our characters. But I think I'll get in the messenger group with all of us so that we can start to build, like, figure out what those relationships are to each other, uh, which is also part of this, like, how, who knows each other, who doesn't know each other, and how. Um, and like figuring out who you're like your parents are siblings classmates like how, how you all relate like who's your enemy who's your rival all that kind of stuff um and then uh on page 92 there's a table of questions and just for you guys to know uh you'll you'll be picking two questions for those characters that you do know which we will determine separately after this and you'll ask I'm sorry, you'll answer two questions for those that you do know, and you'll ask one question for each person that you don't. And that'll make more sense when you look at what those questions are. Um, and then we'll also go through like final touches, which will be your full name, first and last, uh, motivation, fears, school bag, and then finishing up those trope questions that you might've chosen earlier uh, oh, yeah, and your right. class schedule. But yeah, we've we've done it. We've I feel like we've successfully built an entire wizarding school and our, our wonderful new friends. We've uh -huh. got- Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I totally forgot, uh, in you guys, the um, the strengths. There's mechanical benefits on page ninety that I totally forgot about. Too. Ninety. That's what I was looking for. This is an invisible book. I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. Um, and that and and if you wanted Ooh. to do the two way communication, it's one of these skills. One of these gets gives you that. Uh, but they all have benefits. So like, look at them and and pull the ones that you that correspond to your strengths. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing is, I think as a group, we'll probably do that as a group in Messenger because the questions I think aren't meant to be duplicated. Am I right, Matt? So I think once one is asked, that gets scratched out, so we don't have repetition. Yeah. Are you are we doing it randomized, oh, or are you how are we, you doing it? Uh, I mean, it's 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 meant to be, but I'm actually not picky. I think we find cool. find questions that feel right. I'm cool with that too. Great. Okay. Yeah. But, but yeah, yeah it's, you only answer ask them once though. Once it's asked, you like cross it out. Yes. Right, yeah. Cool. So we'll just keep okay. track of those, and we can. We'll, we will maybe we'll just do like in the in our chat like one at a time, uh, and eliminate it as we go, so there's no repeats. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Hooray! You did it. Thanks, guys. Woo! Hey. Sounds good. So Next week we questions? start school. Oh, yeah. You can. Oh, yeah. I just Yay. finished school, though. <laughs> Yay. You gotta go back. No. <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah, I'm excited, excited, dude. Thanks, everybody. Come back here 2 p.m. next week, and we'll introduce our, our fully realized characters at the top, and we'll start our wonderful adventure in our school new Greenland land school. Oh, jeez. That I can't pronounce yet, but that's fine. It was in chat, but I forgot. <laughs> uh, yes, we're on a Batman. This Our will be the airtime. 2 p.m. will be the start time for this stream. Uh, and we'll we'll try to go like two and a half ish, I think, if that's cool with everybody. If that works mm -hmm. for schedules, mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, I mean we can talk about that. I don't know why I'm doing this now, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, so everybody, thank you so much. Uh, I think we're uh, as always we're gonna uh, spread the level a little bit with a raid, mm -hmm. and uh, make sure you come back tonight 7:30 for a perception check with the felted friends and all that good stuff. Um, we'll have incentives yeah. too next week. Yes, we oh, will. Yeah. We'll, fig we'll figure something out for you guys to play yes. with. This. Awesome. Um, awesome. We're rating Chow Jordan. Chow Jordan. See yeah. you. Yeah. All right. See you all later for Perception Check tonight. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.